Hello and welcome. Thank you for viewing this information session for the Circular Economy Organics Councils Fund. My name is Ian Clark and I'm a program officer in the Organics Market Development Team at Sustainability Victoria. I'd like to provide you with this short video to outline some of the key objective, objectives of this funding and also some definitions that may assist you with your project design and application. All of the following information is available in the fund guidelines, so I'll only be highlighting the key points in this short presentation. You can find the full guidelines by going to the SV website and going to the grants and funding page. This is a rolling competitive fund, which means that applications are assessed and awarded funding as they are received, meaning that once the funding has been fully allocated, applications may close before the um, final date of the 14th of June 2024. We surveyed 29 metropolitan and regional councils to determine the barriers and the opportunities for increasing the use of recycled organics products such as compost and composted mulches in council settings that led to the design of this fund. And the top key areas for support required were uh, storage infrastructure. This would allow councils to purchase larger quantities and save costs for competitive prices. Trial organics in their trial recycled organics products such as compost and composted mulches in council settings, and also um, education um, around how they can improve the relationship with organics processes, but also create internal change at council. So the fund has three main objectives: building and diversifying end markets for recycled organics creating closed loop solutions to increase circular procurement and increasing the knowledge and raising awareness of the benefits of using recycled curbside organics to the community. Projects must use recycled curbside organics products such as composted, mulch, composts and other soil amendments containing curbside collected food and garden organics or garden organics. So what is a recycled curbside organic product. It's a compost and composted mulch that's been through a commercial composting process to pasteurisation. It's generally free of diseases and weed seeds and also meets the Australian standards. Projects that intend to increase the use of raw mulch or uncomposted material will not be funded. Raw mulch is not composted, therefore it can carry diseases and weed seeds. An example of this is tree prunings, which are used as tree mulch. That's an example of raw mulch. What's defined as a council setting? Um, in this document, we've defined council settings as a wide variety of uses in council owned and operated parks and gardens trees and parkland, sporting fields and facilities, nature reserves, recreational spaces. It also includes community gardens, council run kindergartens and playgrounds. Council settings managed by council contractors are also included. We're going to jump into some commonly asked questions now, which have been put forward to us by councils. And this will give you an example of what other councils have thought about and also hopefully will align to some of your questions that you've been thinking about as well. We're yet to implement FOGO, but we're working on treating green waste in the transfer station and converting it into mulch. The council has one free green waste drop off per year for residents, but we want to expand this to a full year. So from our understanding, this project is simply to increase green waste drop off at a transfer station. This wouldn't be eligible by itself, but if this council were to use the recycled materials such as the compost and the composted mulch, <coughs> excuse me, um, and also wish to expand the drop off for residents, that would be eligible under the funding. Just confirming the total grant is $100,000 regardless of how many councils partner together. Yes, that is correct. You can certainly um, get a group of councils together, but you do need to have a lead applicant who will be responsible for liaising with SV and also signing the funding agreement. Uh, and also obviously keeping those other councils on track to meet the milestones through the um, grant um, through the grant process up until the end of the agreement. We're exploring a community champion program which would cover the entire curbside organics journey, including food waste avoidance. This would include donation of recycled compost to um, community gardens and participants and also community centres. Secondary to this, um, there's a question around the term related to organic waste reduction and avoidance will not be funded. 
Based on the information, yes, the project would be eligible. It meets that third objective about community um, awareness and raising awareness in the community, but it also meets the other two, partly meets the other two objectives as well, which are using more recycled curbside organics products in council settings and also promoting circular behaviours in council. Um, relating back to that term, of organic waste reduction and avoidance is not included and it will not be funded. Um, we won't provide funding for this on its own, so in an isolated situation, we won't provide um, funding for that purpose. Um, that has been covered by other SV grants in the past, but if you if it is included in your project, um, in the scope, as well as other activities, then it will be considered for funding. We have not introduced FOGO yet. Can we use composted garden organics? Yes, you can. The guidelines do allow for FOGO and GO garden organics, noting that not everyone has a FOGO service as yet. But it is important to note it must be a composted and pasteurised material. It cannot be a raw mulch material. A few questions on this one um, regarding the one-to-one -one, um, contribution. Is there a specific way to calculate the staff time? and? Is it based on their salary bandings? Um, yes, you you must um, show that existing staff costs are directly related to the project and you can calculate their time spent. It doesn't have to be their full time job, but those hours that they do spend on the project needs to be recorded and also used against their salary band to calculate the hourly rate. Um, we don't have a calculator, unfortunately, for this purpose. Should all organics products that we purchase for our projects come for this fund? If they're related to the project, yes, you can. Um, but of course, noting that, as we've said before, it needs to be a composted mulch or compost from an EPA licensed organic facility. It does not cover raw mulch. Are we able to test the compost? Yes, we would strongly recommend that you do. Um, ideally, um, you would get a baseline test done and then test throughout the project and of course test at the end to see the difference and hopefully you see some improvements in soil and plant growth. Um, you can also use the funding for um, a uh, to for trial design. So if you needed the consultant, if you don't have the skill set at your council to design the trial, we strongly suggest that you get someone who can. Um, and you can reach out to us if you um, obviously need some support with that once funding is allocated. Um, but yes, definitely can do testing. Um, can you tell me if this fund is nearing completion or over, oh, sorry, is nearing oversubscription or closing soon? Um, we asked. We are still accepting applications for this fund. The closing date is the 14th of June. However, we still can close it early if we get applications and we do exhaust that funding prior to that date. So definitely get your application in as soon as possible. In section 2.3, it say, states existing staff costs such as salaries. Um, and the question is, can we create a new role? Um, or do we have to use existing roles? Yes, you can definitely create a new role, which is directly related to this project, um, or use an existing staff member. You just need to show that the hours that they worked are actually directly related to the project and um, put a monetary value next to them, depending on their band at council. Um, but yeah, you just need to demonstrate that the time on the project and the cost um, relates directly to the project. So yeah, that's it for those questions. Um, just running through this again, the applications close on the 14th of June, so it's not very far away. Um, the projects need to be completed by the 30th of June 2025, so that gives you about 12 months to complete the, the project. And of course, as we've outlined earlier, it's a rolling fund, um, so applications will be assessed as soon as they come in, and we won't accept applications past the 14th of June at 11.59pm. So thank you very much again for your interest in looking at this presentation. <clears throat> um, we, if your questions weren't answered here, we please reach out as soon as possible to grants.inquiries at sustainability.vic.gov.au and use the subject name um, CE Organics Councils Fund. Get those questions in and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And we look forward to receiving your application. Good luck with your application and thanks again.